After you've downloaded the software, you are ready to start using your wireless pH probe. In the box, you'll find the wireless sensor and you'll find the pH probe, like so. You'll first need to connect your wireless sensor into your probeware. So find the end, and it'll fit in where there's an opening, and then you'll twist it around to lock. So once that's on, you'll be ready to use it with your phone. Open up the app on your phone. This is where you can connect your wireless pH probe. On the top bar, there are a few options. You'll need to click this Bluetooth option. Click on that and turn your probe on by pressing the power button here. It'll start to blink red at the Bluetooth symbol. That tells you that you can connect it to your phone. Here you'll see the available devices and that is what you will choose. So my device is 632-478. I'm going to want to connect to my device. You'll probably see other people's devices in the classroom show up on your phone. Make sure that you're choosing yours. So I click on it and it's connecting. And when it's connected, it'll go under connected devices. So I click done. And then this is where you can start taking your pH. If you click on the option that says pH, it will take you to a measuring screen and you can move your phone over to the side like so. You can view this as a graph or you can tab over down here and you can view it as digits. Best to use digits for this lab. In order to start the pH probe taking data, you need to press the green play button in the left hand corner here. So press the play button and then whenever you stick this into your solution, it will take the pH of that solution. It's important that you remove this cap from the bottom. There is a buffer in here that protects the electrode. Make sure that you don't lose the solution when you take it off. So you just have to unscrew it like so. And you can put the solution down off to the side. And then you can use this part of your probe into your solution. And when you're done with it, you can rinse it off with some distilled water and put it back into your solution here. When you're all finished, you can go to the home button, the home screen, you can say no, you don't want to save it unless you do. And if you turn yours off, hold the button, it will disconnect your probeware and you can put it back into the box. When you put it back into the box, make sure you put it back in with the buffer solution towards the left so that the pH on top makes it so that this sits in the buffer solution when it's standing upright. That is for storage purposes. And then it's all finished.